Hey guys, welcome back. So do you have a loan that's federally backed by either Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac and you're in forbearance or considering the possibility of going into forbearance? If so, then you definitely need to watch this video today because Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac both came out yesterday to provide some clarity on how borrowers who have missed payments can actually make all of their payments due at the end of their loan. Before we get into that, I'm Jeb Smith. I'm a real estate broker here in Southern California. And I want to ask a favor. If you're new to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you're interested in all things real estate, whether it's buying real estate, selling real estate, or just trending topics that might affect you as a homeowner. My goal here is to help educate and guide you through that process. So if you find that information helpful, um, do me a favor and also hit that thumbs up as it will get out to more people and, uh, and help me accomplish that goal. So as I mentioned yesterday, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac both came out and said that they will now allow borrowers who have missed uh, mortgage payments due to forbearance as part of the the COVID related um, you know epidemic pandemic whatever you want to call it to make up those missed payments at the end of their loan. Now, how is all of this going to work? Well, that's what we're going to talk about a little bit more detail, at least with the information that I have so far. So. This is supposed to start with servicers as of July 1st. So right now, if you call your servicer as of today, they're going to have no idea what you're talking about, but this is supposed to start as of July 1st. So right now we're almost mid-May. Um, so in a month and a half, this will be a payment option. Now for most of us or most of the people that have gone into forbearance, you, you know, the end of your forbearance term isn't even up yet. So it's not something you really need to consider. But if you're one of those people, who you know were given a 90 day forbearance initially you may ask for an extension for the you know for this period of time until that option is available right so even if you're at the the point of the maturity of your current forbearance and you're able to regain payments but you don't know how you, you don't want to come up with the lump sum or do the repayment plan or whatever and you just want it to be added on to your loan balance then then my suggestion would be ask for that extension of for, you know forbearance until this is an available option now how, how does this available option work? Well, what they've said so far is that your, you know, that essentially everything on your loan is going to stay the same. What does that mean? Well, your payment would stay the same, your interest rate would stay the same, and the maturity date would stay the same. The only difference is, you, you know, you would have to pay these payments back at the end of your loan. Well, it, it, how does that work? Well, that's the unclear part. My guess is that it's added as some sort of second mortgage um, to the balance of the loan. Because if the maturity date doesn't change, you know, so if your loan is a 20 year loan and, and the loan date doesn't change and your payments stay the same and everything stays the same, then how do you end up repaying that? Well, my guess is it's some sort of second mortgage. And what they've said that it can be paid off if you decide to you know, refinance your property, which could be a problem, which we've talked about in the past, because if you have a forbearance, refinance could be a problem, um, at least currently how guidelines are written, but refinancing could pay that off. Um, you know, decide to sell your property. If you sell your property, it can be paid off at that time, or if your loan matures. Now, if your loan matures, and nothing has changed, then that means you're gonna have some sort of balloon payment at the end, but I don't wanna get into that right now because that's kind of one of the unknown factors, but the good news is they'll allow this repayment plan. Now, keep in mind, all of the other options are still available. So you can still make that lump sum payment where all your payments are due at one time, you can still do that. You can still set up a repayment plan, which is basically where they take those missed payments, they amortize them over a, a period of time, and so they're added to each monthly payment until they're paid off. A loan modification could still be an option as well. So you have other options. So the question that most people are gonna have is, why would I pay it all off at one time or you know, set up a repayment plan or a loan modification if I can just pay it at the end of my loan? The good question, but my guess is by reinstating your loan now, so by, by when you make uh, the forbearance current, so if you made a lump sum payment and made all those payments at one, your for forbearance at that point is current, right? So that reinstates your loan and that forbearance that's mentioned on your credit report that you're current it would be gone at that point so that would reinstate your loan essentially your credit would would go back up um, and everything would be married so why would you do that versus just adding them to the end well you know 
I don't know, can't say this for sure, but my guess is until you make those payments due in full, um, whether it's a payment plan or whatever, then you're you're gonna stay in forbearance for that period of time. Now, this is unclear, right? There's not a lot of information out there on what happens if you decide to do a repayment plan or pay off all of these at the end, but my guess is you're probably in forbearance until those payments are made, at which point you, know, you get yourself out of forbearance and it's reinstated. So that is why you may ch choose one option over the other, but those are questions that you need to have with your servicer, with your lender when you're discussing these options. Now, one other thing they did mention is that you know if you've had taxes, insurance, um, you know, impound accounts that are part of your mortgage payment each month, you know, those would also be added to the end of your loan. So, you know, how it's right how it uh, is done currently, at least my understanding is is that, you know, the the services the lenders are only covering your portion of the the the, the principal and the interest on your payment, right? So, if you have taxes due, if you have uh, homeowners insurance that are due, you are still responsible for those as the homeowner currently, right? You still have to pay those. Well, this says that any escrow advances are essentially added to the end of the loan. So this makes me think that maybe escrow advances are gonna be paid by the servicer or some services are paying these escrow advances where others may not. But I guess the bottom line is that if they are being advanced um, by the servicer, that advancement would be added to the end of your loan as well. So those aren't additional payments that you have to come up with. Now, I know that can be confusing um, and the way I worded it may not have been the best way, but I'm trying to to, to ad lib here and, and kind of address those questions. So, you know, I hope that is helpful. You know, again, we don't have all the details on this. All we know right now is Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have allowed this. Now, FHA has done something similar. They came out and basically said that, um, you know, that you could add your payments to the end of your loan. So they've done that as well. But again, with all of these, these government agencies, the GSEs, they haven't provided all the details of how it's gonna work. So as this unfolds, I will you know continue to update you, continue to provide you with information so that you know what you're getting into. But just know that if you're in one of these situations that there are options, right? So whatever you've been told so far, just know that it's not the only option, right? If, regardless of what it is. If you've been told you owe a lump sum payment or or that you have repayment plans or that you can do a loan modification, whatever you've been told, know that there are other options out there. Um, it's just a matter of having that conversation with your servicer, with your lender. Um, and again, you, you might not uh, be able to, to um, get straight answers from the first person you speak to on the phone. And that's unfortunate. That's part of the problem, right? A lot of these people that are answering the phone aren't you know, um, prevy to everything that's out there, right? They're just answering the phone. A lot of these people were hired recently, so they don't know the ins and outs. So ask to speak to somebody else, ask to speak to a manager. When you get off the phone with them, call back, ask to speak to somebody else. But either way, know that you have options when going through this process. Um, and, you know, as I've promised, I will continue to update you as more information unfolds on this topic. But if you have questions for me, do me a favor, comment below or reach out to me directly. You know, all my contact information is listed below. Um, you know, my social contacts, you know, through IG, through Facebook, through whatever. So you can reach me there as well. But either way, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Um, I appreciate the support. And, it, you know, again, I, I will uh, I will continue to update you, but I'll see you again soon. Have an awesome day. Bye bye.